Could you be unknowingly pushing your cat away, despite your best intentions? Are your actions of love being lost in translation in the secret cat language? Showing your cat you love them is not really that hard, when you know what to do. Today we're revealing 7 science-backed strategies to help you tell your cat you love them in a language that they truly understand. Before we dive into the first strategy, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing insights about your cat. Now to the first strategy, the influence of your emotions on your cat. Ever thought about the power your mood holds over your cat? This bond we share with them is a two-way street. Scientists at the Milan University unveiled a profound connection between a cat's behavior and their owner's emotions. They ran an experiment where they asked cat owners to display different emotions, happy, angry and neutral. Turns out, cats were more affectionate when their owners were happy. They were purring more, rubbing against their owners, and even initiating play. However, when their owners were neutral or angry, the cats turned more aloof. They distanced themselves and were less likely to engage in affectionate behaviors. It's like your cat is tuned into your emotional radio station. This means if you want to strengthen that bond with your cat, a simple trick is to show more positivity and happiness around them. The Blinking Code Ever noticed your cat gazing at you only to slowly close their eyes? That's not just them being lazy or dozing off. In fact, they're communicating in a secret cat language. In the wild, closing eyes in the presence of another is a sign of ultimate trust, because it leaves a cat vulnerable. It's the same with your cat. One scientific experiment found that cats are more likely to approach someone who slow blinks at them. They set up an experiment where strangers either slow blinked at a cat or maintained a neutral expression. The result? Cats responded more positively to those who shared a slow blink, even going so far sometimes as to approach and interact with them. This subtle form of communication can make a world of difference in your relationship with your cat. So how do you return this slow blink? Lock eyes with your cat, maintain a soft gaze and blink back slowly. It's like a secret handshake, a bonding ritual just between the two of you. But here's the key, it's all about the pace. Rapid blinking might be seen as agitation, so make sure your blink is slow and relaxed. And remember to be patient. Your cat may not return the gesture immediately, but with consistency, they'll start to understand. Also remember to never stare at cats directly without blinking. In the cat world, direct staring, especially without blinking, is a sign of potential danger and can be seen as aggressive or threatening. The magic of fleece blankets. Want to make sure your cat feels relaxed in your presence? We've got a surprisingly simple but effective solution for you, a fleece blanket. There's something uniquely comforting about the texture of fleece for our cats. To them it's reminiscent of the fur of another cat. Just imagine the secure feeling of snuggling up with a littermate in those early days of life. That's the level of comfort we're talking about. Why is this important? In the wild, cats would snuggle together for warmth and security. One scientific study proved that in your home, the fleece blanket serves as a substitute, providing that familiar texture. This not only brings comfort but also a sense of safety, which is essential for your cat to relax and show their affection. But the magic of fleece doesn't end there. Watch as your cat starts to knead the fleece blanket, their paws pushing and pulling rhythmically. This kneading isn't a random act, it's a sign of pure bliss. Kneading is a behavior that harks back to their kitten days when they were nursing from their mother, a time of utmost contentment and security. So if you really want to boost your bond with your cat, it might be time to invest in a fleece blanket. Cats and aromatic bliss. Ever wondered why your cat seems so entranced by certain scents? They rely on their noses way more than we. From recognizing their territory to identifying their humans, smell is a critical part of their sensory world. So how can we harness this strong sense of theirs to strengthen our relationship? Enter the world of pheromones. A study by the American Veterinary Medical Association proved that certain scents do indeed have a soothing effect on cats. These are chemical messages that cats use to communicate with each other. Luckily, we can use synthetic versions of these to replicate feelings of security and comfort for our cats. Besides making your cat feel secure and relaxed, they can also reduce stress-related behaviors and even help with certain health conditions. Remember, they're not a one-time magic trick, but when used consistently, pheromones can go a long way in reassuring your cat and building a stronger relationship. On the other hand, certain scents can be harmful to your cat. 
we're talking about essential oils and using diffusers. Remember that citrus oils, tea tree oil, peppermint, and cinnamon can be toxic to cats. Mutual grooming. Have you ever seen cats grooming each other? They're not just tidying up, they're building relationships. This is what we call mutual grooming or allegrooming. When cats groom each other, they're sharing their scent, marking each other as part of their family. So can you join this kitty grooming party? Here's a little life hack for you, grab a grooming glove. It's designed to mimic the sensation of a mother cat's tongue. To your cat, it's a symbol of comfort and safety. So when you stroke them with this glove, it's a familiar sensation, one they associate with their earliest days of security and contentment. But can you make them groom you back? It's not always easy, but you can definitely give it a try. Start by grooming them with the glove. From time to time, offer them your hand or forearm. If they start licking you, congratulations! You've entered the mutual grooming club. But what if they don't? That's alright too, not all cats are into grooming their humans. Just remember, your grooming efforts are still creating a bond. One last thing, it's important not to force or overdo this. Cats, as you know, are pretty independent creatures. So if they seem annoyed, give them some space. You can always try again later when they're in a more receptive mood. Understanding tail talk. Did you know your cat's tail can tell you a lot about their mood? It's like a little emotional barometer. Scientists have observed cat's tail language for years, finding consistent patterns that link tail positions with specific emotional states. This understanding is crucial to help you strengthen your relationship with your cat. It's about respecting their emotional space and responding appropriately to their needs. When your cat's tail is straight and pointing up, they're thrilled to see you. You can approach them gently, rewarding their enthusiasm with a tender petting session. If their tail becomes fluffy and arched, that's a sign they're feeling scared or agitated. In such times, it's a good idea to give them the space they need. And if you ever see their tail tucked between their legs, remember that they might be in a sour mood. Hold off on the interaction until you see that tail rise again. A whipping or thumping tail is their way of saying they're annoyed. This calls for some alone time. But when you spot their tail twitching at the end or moving slowly, it's a sign they're focused and could be ready to pounce, possibly during a playful moment. This is a perfect time to play a fun game together. Responding to these tail signals will show your cat that you respect their emotions, which will only deepen your relationship. And now to the most important tip, the key is inconsistency. Ever noticed how your cat always seems to know when it's mealtime, even before you fill up their bowl? There's a reason they're always right on cue. Regularity in interaction plays a significant role in a cat's life. Interestingly, a study published in the journal Applied Animal Behavior Science suggests that cats, being true creatures of habit, thrive on predictability. A consistent routine makes them feel secure and loved. In the wild, their ancestors had set routines for hunting and sleeping. So when you keep their feeding and play time consistent, you're speaking to their instinctual love for routine. Start by setting consistent feeding times. Regular playtimes and grooming sessions are equally important. Remember, each interaction is a building block in your relationship. A stable routine shows them that you're reliable, and that's a massive step in making your cat love you more. And if you want to show your cat the ultimate love, check out this video about most crucial cat nutrition tips, where we talk about everything you need to know to boost your cat's health to the maximum.